Did you know that potato pasta it is a classic Italian from Naples and it is a one pot pasta. This is the original one pot pasta. It's super creamy thanks to the starch in the pasta, in the potatoes and of course the pecorino cheese. Let's make it together because this is something that it really, really changed my life. I don't know if you are capable of understanding what I'm eating. You are capable of understanding how creamy this is. Do you understand? Oh, let's have it. Mm. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to cook amazing Italian recipes. This is a classic Napolitan pasta, potato pasta. This is going to take you right to Naples. Yes, I did use my twist, which is the buffalo mozzarella instead of the provolone. You want to learn more about this dish, please follow my steps. So easy. Honestly, it's so easy. All you need is a saucepan or a large pot and the right ingredients and then you're ready to go. To make this super creamy potato pasta, first we need a nice pasta and I'm using Gigli Toscani, a top quality dry pasta. Originally you use leftovers short pastas. So basically you go to the cupboard, to the pantry and whatever you find, short pasta of course, you put it together. I'm using 200 grams, which is enough for two people. Then we need three medium sized washed potatoes. I like to chop it into cubes or small pieces. Then we need half carrot, half onion, half celery stick, of course, chopped into pieces. I like to finally, finally, finally chop, so when we cook it, it disappears in our beautiful potato sauce. Then we need half liter of hot vegetable broth. You can use half liter of hot vegetable stock or half liter of hot water. It needs to be hot. Then I like to use some rosemary, which we're gonna put it in the sofrito. One buffalo mozzarella. Originally in Naples they use provola or you can use provolone or any dry cheese that you like. I like to use buffalo mozzarella. I love buffalo mozzarella. Optional, you don't have to use it. Two tablespoons of pecorino or parmigiano reggiano. Last but not least, extra virgin olive oil. Let's make the original one pot pasta, the creamiest. We are cooking this pasta in one pot, but I'm not using a very tall pot. I like to use a, a nice deep saucepan. As you can see, this saucepan, it is nice and deep and it will be enough for two people. If you're cooking for more than two people, then you do need to use a large, high, tall pot, okay? What we do first is we're gonna put a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm talking about at least four to five tablespoons. Be generous, please. And then we're gonna add a carrot, onion and celery in there. This is called sofrito. We're gonna cook the sofrito for about 10 minutes. This is very important to give the flavor to our beautiful base. Let's cook our sofrito on a medium high heat. And I also like to add rosemary in there. The rosemary will give a beautiful flavor to the sofrito. And then we're going to remove the rosemary before we add the potatoes. I like rosemary because it's always available all year round and it gives beautiful, fantastic flavors. It is extremely important that you make love with the sofrito. <laughs> the sofrito needs to fill you, needs to know that you are there, okay? So make sure you stir, stir. At this point, as you can see, my rosemary here gave all the flavors. It's, it's cooked, so let's take it out. Okay, the flavors are already in there, infused in the oil. So let's finish off this sofrito. So easy, honestly, this pasta, it will be done in maximum, maximum 20, 25 minutes. After about 10 minutes, we are ready to put our beautiful potatoes. You put the potatoes and straight away, we put about half of the stock. So 250 ml of stock to cook the potatoes. Now at this point, I will give a quick stir Make sure you stir. And we need to cook the potatoes for about 10 minutes, you know, so they become soft and they become creamy. So we want to release all the starch from the potatoes into the saucepan. 
So that's how we get a cream. So basically what I'm going to do now, but it's optional, I'm going to cover it. So I'll keep the moist inside and our beautiful potatoes will cook evenly. It is important to stir the potatoes because you don't want the potatoes to get stuck to your saucepan, especially if you're using a non-stick pan, just like me. You know, it's, it is important to stir them. Okay guys, I added more broth because I want my potatoes to swim in them. I want the potato to become soft on every corner. I'm about to put my pasta in because my potatoes cooked after 10 minutes. My recommendation is always to check the potatoes. You want them to be soft. You want to be able to break them with the fork. If they are like that, then you put the pasta in. If the potatoes are not soft yet, they're too hard, you have to wait for the pasta. You need to keep maybe adding more stock until your potatoes are soft. Before I put the pasta in, I'm going to squash some potatoes because it will help to get creamier, okay? So we don't want to make mashed potatoes. The potatoes are not super soft. They're soft, but not super soft. I just want to mash them a little bit, see, just like that. Because what's going to happen is when I put the pasta, the pasta will be able to combine more with the potatoes and we will be able to have a creamier pasta. And guys, keep in mind that the smallest you cut the potatoes, the easier it will be to make this pasta and to cook it. Now we're gonna add the pasta now, all of it, and we're going to add the rest of the stock of broth. Now stir, because we are cooking the pasta in this pan. It's a one pot pasta, don't forget, okay? Now I'm adding more water to cook the pasta. I'm adding half liter because in this pot I need half liter. If you're using a smaller pot, maybe you need less. If you use a larger pot, maybe you need more water. So I recommend you not to put too much, just to put enough to cover the pasta and see how it goes. The pasta somehow will tell you if it needs more water. It will tell you, ah, I'm thirsty. So don't worry. The packet says to cook it for eight minutes. So eight minutes it is. See you soon. Make sure you stir every couple of minutes. Now. I've got six more minutes to go, the pasta is cooking, I can feel it with my spoon, it's still too hard, you know, so you want to make sure you stir because the pasta needs to cook evenly. You don't want to have one pasta overcooked, one pasta al dente, one pasta not cooked, make sure it's cooked properly. Guys, we have five minutes to go and everything is looking great. The potatoes are getting softer and softer, this is great, I'm loving it. Ladies and gentlemen, our pasta is ready. All we have to do now is to test it to make sure it's ready. Look how creamy it is. This is all cream, guys. Look at that. This is all cream. Oh, we just need to add the cheese and we're ready to go. Let me try one pasta and one potato. Just to make sure it's ready. <clears throat> pasta is already creamy. Mmm. Potatoes melting my mouth, ready. Switch off the stove. The pasta is perfectly cooked. What we're gonna do now is we are going to add the pecorino or parmigiano if you want. And this is like two generous tablespoons, but you can use more. And as we stir, look at the cream that we get. Look how creamy this is already. Look at that. Look at that. I feel safer removing the pan from the stove and look. Look how creamy this is, thanks to the pecorino. Look how fantastic this pasta is, look. Look at this, guys, look at this. Look at that, look how beautiful this is. So yeah, if you wanna make it creamier, you can just uh, mantecare, let the pasta jump. If you can't do it, just keep using the spoon. But this will help the pasta to get creamier, let me tell you. Look at how amazing and creamy, look at that, look how sensational. This is all thanks to the potatoes, the starches, and just a touch of the pecorino right at the end. Now is the time to perfect this dish. So we're gonna break 
the buffalo mozzarella in two pieces and then I put it everywhere just everywhere the pasta is warm so it will help to melt the buffalo mozzarella quickly 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 stir and serve straight away yum 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 there is one thing you need to know about this pasta you need to serve it straight away there is no time for instagram no time for photos but if you can come to my instagram you can look at the photo i took for you <laughs> look how creamy this is guys look how creamy and cheesy this pasta is look at that fantastic simply fantastic Going to decorate it with a nice rosemary and then we are ready to eat it. I have to say I'm amazed about how creamy this is. Hello rosemary, just amazed. So the only thing we have left to do now is to try it. And like I said guys, you have to make sure you serve this straight away. There's no time for Instagram, no time for photos. I'm really struggling today to take photos. Hopefully I'm able to do a photo for the thumbnail. Otherwise, no photo for thumbnail. <laughs> oh, let's have it. Mmm. Mmm. I've got two different types of potatoes. One super creamy and one a little bit still crunchy, which was nice contrast. Very nice contrast. I've got mozzarella here, potato and pasta. Mmm. Super creamy, super, super creamy. Fantastic. It, it, it does get cold fast, so you need to have it straight away. Some of them are already cold because I'm filming, so yeah. I don't know if you are capable of understanding what I'm eating. If you are capable of understanding how creamy this is. Do you understand? Can you see it? Can you see how creamy this is? Eh? I don't know if the video can make you understand that. Guys, you need to write a comment below and ask YouTube to give us taste tasting options on YouTube. We want to feel that. We want to eat this through the video. Come on. What are you waiting for? Just make it. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Mmm. 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 This was my favorite bite. Oh yeah, look at this. I've got potato, mozzarella, buffalo mozzarella, pasta, carrots. Mmm, mmm. Al bacio, to die for. Buon appetito, guys, and enjoy pasta every day, every night, every week, every year, forever. Pasta is life. Mmm.